temple. So we have the Burning Man, the man we burn on Saturday, and then on Sunday is the temple. You know, when you go to the temple, it's such a sacred place where people yeah. are, they could have lost their loved ones. So you usually see like, they, they create something to uh, remember their loved ones and they are there to burn things, right? So there was a wedding dress, I remember, and it was a wedding dress that was hung there and people were stapling, like they stapled their notes there. Oh. So this girl wrote that um, she was married to this guy for about many years and then realized that he's actually living in a closet for a long time. No. Yeah, so then he still loves, like she still yeah. loves him as a friend and he's very supportive, but you know, it was like her dream man and all that and yeah, but she didn't right. really love her the same way. And then people were like leaving their own messages wow. on the wedding dress. Like, you know, yeah. oh, this was the day where I decided to let my husband go. But yeah. it was very interesting because Burning Man to me was a place where I really feel at home. Mm. Where, I mean, now there's a lot of Instagrammers who go there. They leave their shit behind. And I mean mm. like real rubbish. Like you're not supposed to, you're supposed to keep the whole place clean. Yeah, like I, you go I recently up, read the whole the, it's really the sad. philosophy. Like, yeah. Everybody is just there to like, oh, look good, look glam. And then they chuck their trash, right? Yeah. You know, we carry our trash and then we find a proper place to dispose. Yeah. Uh, the place was nice and yeah, you need to make sure you maintain that um, that the whole culture, right? And, yeah. and the plier, we always call it the plier. The plier is where you ask for anything and then you'll get your answer, your mm. prayers answered. Right. So, uh, interesting fact, I don't think I tell Eugene about this or so, but it was in the plier where I think I was meant to be with Emmanuel. Mm. Yeah, because uh, what happened on the plier was, uh, we were on the seven years each, you know, like the oh. seventh year and it was hard time. It was really, really challenging year for us. Right. And we went for the Burning Man, even though we were like, really not in a good space. and. Uh, I remember that day I was like, okay, I need to go and see them. And because I went back to sleep at midnight and mm. they went to party. So there are two types of people. One type is like they party through the night, then they yeah. wait for the sunrise, they go back and sleep. But I'm more of the day person. So I will go do every activity. Yeah. Then I will sleep at midnight and yeah. then I will look for them like at 5 a.m. for right. the sunrise. So I remember at 5, I woke up, I was cycling and it was a sandstorm. In the middle of the night so you can't see anything yeah and i just couldn't find this place called uh, the burners you will know mayan warrior is where you go for sunrise okay so i remember i was going there like oh i went circle around mayan warrior i couldn't see so i went to another place that i think is there no i didn't see him went back to mayan warrior again no i tried another place no so i was just cycling aimlessly i was like okay maybe this is not meant to be right. so then i remember telling the player like okay if we are meant to be then let me find him and then at this point, I was like, okay, I don't think he's going to be here. The sun is going to rise anytime. And everybody was heading the other direction to, yeah. the, to the, you know, the, the, to the edge where you could see the sunrise. Right. So I was like, okay, fine. Maybe I'll just be alone and just cycle there. So, but something tells me like, okay, why don't we just do one more time? Right? Just one yeah. more time. So I said, okay, let's go back again. So I went back. I was, I did a circle, a full circle of my warrior. I put my back, uh, my bike and then my bicycle. I was like, okay, let me walk. No, I didn't see him. And I was like, I was pretty disappointed at this point. I was like, okay, maybe we're just really not meant to be. Right. So then I was going to unlock my bicycle lock. And then this pair of like shoes came right in front of me. I was looking down and I like look oh, up and then it was him. Right. Yeah. And then I think that was the moment where I realized, oh, I think uh, sort of the player has answered like, yeah. I mean, we, we have, you know, that's why I said a couple is a lot of ups and downs. Yeah. And I think that was for me a moment and for him it was a moment. Like everybody couldn't believe like, how could you find him? Because, you know, when you're in Burning Man, there's no reception at times. Yeah. And it's the best place because that's where you can be really in tune and you don't keep checking your phone. You take photographs, but, you know, you are constantly like uh, having a lot of your me time. Yeah. Right? You being connected with the player and and with the art pieces and yeah. meeting new people uh, and it was a very for me it was quite a magical year for 2018 mm. 2017 we were you know we were very new to Burning Man so we were right. just exploring, uh, exploring and we did a lot of things together but 2018 it was time where like okay we're not in a good space and like you do your thing I do my thing right. we're doing different things but we come back together Death has always been a certainty that's what I like about Anjali it has to be a certainty Endless topics that we can talk about. Dying to meet you. Welcome to my podcast.